Hi, I'm Sandy Alnock, artist and paper crafter here on YouTube with my 24 tags of Christmas for 2019. For today's set of tags, I'm going to be using this cute little mama elephant stamp set along with the shipping tags from Ellen Hudson. I love that you can cut four tags at once. Makes me super happy when I'm in the busy holiday season. The stamp set I got because it was so cute. It has little pairings of animals and snow animals. So the dog goes with the dog snowman. So I guess he's not a snowman, he's a snow dog. And the little critters have their arms out as though they're ready to go hug their little friend, which is pretty sweet. But I was thinking it would be really cute to put a coffee mug in their hand, like they're bringing a little treat to warm up their little snow friend. Or they could be carrying a giant snowball, like they're in the process of making their little snow critter. Something like that would be really fun. I am going to be doing a bunch of cards still this season, even though they're not all going to be on YouTube. But I am going to be making a lot of cards because I still need, oh gosh, a ridiculous number of them. And this stamp set is going to be featured in that because I just think they're really fun and they would make for great scenes. So I am doing little mini scenes on these little mini tags. I love that they're so small, especially when I'm doing colored pencil because colored pencil takes a long time to fill in. But I'm uh, going to color backgrounds on each one of them. And notice that since I'm doing no line-ish coloring, I stamp them in a very light gray ink. This is a grout gray. Uh, the snowman hadn't really shown up until there was a background behind him. So I just scribbled some blue on there and then did some smoothing out with my baby oil. You can also use very easily some Gamsol or other mineral solution, that kind of thing. I like it that baby oil just doesn't smell. And once I got all that smoothed out, I put snowflakes all over it because everything I make in the wintertime seems to have snowflakes on it. So there you go. Very cute. And aside from the time that it took to do the background, the stamping and the coloring was super quick and easy. So if you're looking for super quick, this is a cute stamp set. You could just stamp the images in black so that you don't have to put a background on them. But they're really fun. My little bears, even though this probably should be a polar bear, my bears are always black bears with brown snouts and brown bellies because that's how I roll. I used to live in Montana and we had black bears and I met black bears when I was out hiking. So I feel a little affinity for them that I don't feel necessarily for polar bears. And um, so yeah, there's my bear. He's gonna be a little black bear. Unfortunately, the snowman has to be a polar bear because he's made of snow. So you can't make a black bear out of snow. But I guess the dog doesn't have a yellow snow dog friend. So that still kind of works, right? So finish up coloring the same background for him and the same snow. Move on quickly to the others. These are all going to be really quick videos, by the way, this week. And uh, this one is a kitty. And the kitty that goes with it, there's a kitty snow person or snow critter. But there's two little kitties stacked on top of it. And you could color those, I think, either as little snow people, like extra snow people, or you could color them like I'm gonna do as a brown and a gray kitty. So there's kitties stacked on a kitty, which I think is really kind of funny. So there you go. There's my interpretation of what that stamp is. And as always, you can find out whether or not it's supposed to be that by Googling the stamp set name, which is linked in the supplies and go find out how other people have colored this one but I will be coloring it probably as my two kitties at some point during the holiday season as I'm getting my cards finished up because these would be really fun. So I'll do the same thing. Snow background, big blue sky. And I'm doing the arms, the little stick arms last so that I can do all the blending and not have to worry about the stick arms. So then the stick arms and the whiskers can be drawn in afterward. Finally, last but not least, Da bunny, da bunny, who loves da bunny? So I'm gonna make a little gray bunny with his little snow person, people, animal friend. And if you are new to my channel, you may not know that I give away my 24 tags every year. I do six videos in a row, four tags in each, and I give them away. I mail them out 
to 24 Very Happy People. So you can leave a comment here on YouTube, or you can leave a comment on my blog, or you can leave a comment in one of each and increase your chances to win a little tag in the mail from moi. I just love adding a little cheer to the holidays by sending out some goodies. And these tags are just a big tradition around here every year. I know lots of you look forward to seeing them every single year. So there is my little bunny all finished up. For the tags, I decided I wanted a little bit of extra punch of color. So I'm gonna add each one to a piece of red cardstock and use my scissors to simply hack off the outside so that I can have a little border on them. And the names and stuff can be written on the back of the tags in white or black pen on that red cardstock. And I have my little bows on them. Very cute. Good luck in winning. Leave comments here and on my blog to increase your chances. And I will see you again tomorrow with another tag video. Ta-ta for now. Merry Christmas.